How's up, y'all? What's poppin'? It's G. Welcome back to this impressive video. This is Nicki Minaj was allegedly blacklisted because of Miley Cyrus. Okay. Um, this video is a couple months old, but you know, someone wanted me to react to it, so I got you. Um, so yeah, we're about to see why you know Nicki is saying she was blacklisted. Let's watch. Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. I want to talk about something that I found very interesting and that involves Nicki Minaj and her standing in the music industry. I was watching Choke No Joke on YouTube. Shout out to Choke No Joke. If you ever get a chance, I would say check out his channel because he has worked behind the Nicki scenes Minaj? as a director and he's privy to a lot of information. Okay. But a few days ago, he gave the reason why Nicki Minaj was allegedly blackballed from the industry. Now I am saying oh. allegedly because I don't know if this is 100% true, but he said the blackballing against Nicki Minaj happened when she checked Miley Cyrus on the MTV BMA show back in 2015. Back to this that had a lot to say about me the other day in the press. Miley, what's good? Now, for those of you all who don't know the backstory behind that whole mess, <laughs> Miley actually dissed Nikki for complaining about not getting nominated for a VMA Video of the Year award. Now, Nicki Minaj first threw subs at the VMAs for not nominating her video, Anaconda, for Video of the Year, and she said this on Twitter. When the other girls drop a video that breaks records and impacts culture, they get that nomination. If your video celebrates women with very slim bodies, you will be nominated for Video of the Year. Now, Taylor Swift got in her feelings about Nicki's tweets because she felt like her tweets were directed at her, and she said this. Nicki Minaj, I've done nothing but love and support you. It's unlike you to pit oh, women against up. each other. Maybe one of the men took your slot. Nicki responded and said, nothing I said had to do with Taylor. So what jabs? White media and their tactics. So sad, that's what they want. Now, the reason why Nicki was upset that her Anaconda video wasn't acknowledged for video of the year was because it was one of the biggest videos that year and she felt like her video was snubbed because it showcased black women with curvy bodies and there were some people who were offended by it. So the VMAs did not acknowledge it, but the VMAs had no problem giving Miley Cyrus video of the year for her Wrecking Ball video. And she was even more exposed in her video than Nicki was in her Anaconda video. So Nicki did use this as a point to say that black women oftentimes get overlooked for their contributions to pop culture, while others get rewarded for doing the same thing. Now Taylor Swift did apologize to Nicki for misunderstanding her point, However, Miley dissed Nicki Minaj in her interview with the New York Times. She said, if you want to make it about race, then there's a way you can do that. But don't just make it about yourself. Say, this is the reason why I think it's important to be nominated. There's girls everywhere with this body type. The interviewer said, I think she did say that. And Miley cut her off and said, what I read sounded very Nicki Minaj, which if you mm. know Nicki Minaj is not too kind. Oh. It's not very polite. I think there's a way you speak to people with openness and love. You don't have to start this pop star against pop star war. It became Nicki Minaj and Taylor in a fight. So now the story isn't even on what you wanted it to be about. Oh, I don't know now you've just all given this. E! News, Catfight, Taylor and Nicki Minaj go at it. I know you can make it seem like, oh, I just don't understand because I'm a white pop star. I know the statistics. I know what goes on in the world. But to be honest, I don't think MTV did that on purpose. <laughs> so as you heard, Miley's statements were very tone deaf and very dismissive and unnecessary. And that's why Nicki checked her on stage. Back to this that had a lot to say about me the other day in the press. Miley, what's good? We're all in this industry. We all do interviews and we all know how they manipulate shit. Nikki, congratulations. Now, when Nikki checked Miley Cyrus, she was allegedly pressured behind the scenes to apologize, but she didn't. Mm -mm. And Choke No Joke said that this is the reason why Nikki allegedly got blackballed by the industry. The reason Nikki Minaj is being weird blackballed. The weird reason right to get now. blackballed, though is because of Molly Cyrus. Y'all remember how going on MTV Awards and 
threatening Molly or, you know, bucking on Molly. Well, Molly Cyrus' father is a very powerful man in the industry. Really? And if you look up her family, you and you know her, her background, her history, y'all know that she's connected to some powerful people. Well, when Nicki Minaj did that to Miley Cyrus at the award show, they gave her father called Baby, as I'm told, uh, Birdman, yeah, whatever y'all call, I still call him Baby. Um, they called him up and they told him, the white man, listen, you better tell that N word, B word, that she better publicly apologize what? to my daughter. What and I'm sure it? that uh, Birdman gave Nikki that message from what I'm told. He looked like he was such and a white <laughs> Nikki refused to apologize. Her daddy looked like she he was said, saying I'm not going to apologize. And you tell black, like I can hear him saying this shit. That man is bigger than Birdman. Oh wow. That man got more money than Birdman. Yeah, so this that. man is much more powerful than Birdman. And he told yo, you better tell that N word, B word, she better apologize. And Nikki felt like she didn't she wasn't apologizing. And as we see, Nikki never apologized. And this is the reason why Nikki Minaj is blackboard. That's it. It, it ain't no been secret from her. Uh, I, you know, I don't know if it was supposed to be a secret, but I wasn't told that I couldn't say nothing. So there, there you have it. Nicki Minaj is blackballed because her stunt on Molly Cyrus. You're not just gonna go up in a white people show and disrespect a white, the white people's golden child and think that you gonna run around this industry that they control. Mm, no, baby girl. That's a valid This point. is why, this is probably what's happening it's with your surprising. boyfriend. They probably doing everything they can to destroy you. Really curious. They probably found out this dude was a sex offender or whatever, what? and they put that word out. It's like, they, they, they don't put the, the black ball smack down on you. And stuff, and now it's affecting your boyfriend legally. Like, you, you might just want to apologize to that girl. Word up. You know what I'm saying? Before you just get worse. You know what I'm saying? But ego and pride to kill a man. But I see, I really don't know what happened between Nikki and Molly to say if Nikki was wrong or not. But when it comes to the game, and you playing the game like Nikki's playing and she went and got down with the brotherhood or whatever you want to call it, the Illuminati, like they'll kick you out too. They don't care if you sell your soul. You got to remember these people that have been selling their souls before you and they on higher tears than you. That's the reason why Nikki Minaj is black. Well, if y'all didn't know, it's because of Molly Cyrus. She had a chance to make it right. Birdman, to tell, baby, to tell y'all. But it's all which COVID. Now, I have a question. What do y'all think about this? Do you really think that Nikki got blackballed because she wouldn't apologize to Miley Cyrus? I can't confirm whether or not it's true, but I'm not going to rule out the possibility because I remember what happened to Janet Jackson. When Janet Jackson had a wardrobe malfunction at the Super Bowl, the former CBS owner, Les Moonves, actively tried to blackball Janet mm. because she wouldn't break down in tears and apologize. And because of this, he ordered Viacom to stop playing Janet's music on VH1 and mm. MTV, and she was blackballed for a whole decade. Now, Janet had her dignity, and she wasn't going to break down and plead for forgiveness from a predator like Les Moonves. So she decided to take her losses, but it was a very difficult time for her in her career, and she was almost erased out of music history. So this is what some of these white people in these powerful positions do. Mm. If a black person, especially a black woman, doesn't show enough humility, they will be upset by that.
So it's very possible that this may have happened in Nikki's case, but I do think there were a lot of other factors that played a part in affecting Nikki's career. Nikki did allegedly have some issues with Atlantic Records and Lior Cohen because apparently she was being sabotaged behind the scenes. And also Nikki burned some bridges with some people as well. So those things played a factor, but it's possible that she may have started losing support because she did not apologize to Miley. Now, if all of this is true, it would explain why Nikki dragged Miley on Queen Radio last year after Miley took a swipe at her. Miley recently released a song called Catitude, and in the song, she said, I love you, Nikki, but I listen to Cardi. Nikki had a few things to say about that. Listen to this. Even, like I said, I feel like it's sort of shaping things just because, like, I heard a record with Miley Cyrus was trying to talk crazy. So, you know, her I, dude check it. Well, hold on. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> what's up? Hey, you heard that? What you think about? Because I was like, hold on. Uh, hold Who's on. This? Her dude check it. <laughs> Can uh, never talk shit about Queen. Talk about it. But I do notice a lot of her dude chickens recently have been trying to say the Queen's name for clout. Mm, clout and chicken. that's always been happening. And yeah. that's what she did in the first place. And then she cried. You know, the white girl cried and made black girls seem like she was a bad guy. In the first place, she disrespected me in a magazine article for no reason. I had just seen her after she was sucking Mike Will's dick in the studio. Mm. <laughs> like, you sucked all, all that dick. You sucked all that dick only to come out looking like a Purdue f***ing chicken on the stage and then got mad and went back to country music. Shut your stupid <laughs> Now you coming out with pink wigs. All you just want to be Nikki. Mm. Mm. This is the problem. This is the major problem. <laughs> no, that's a, that's a fact. <laughs> so that's what Nikki said about Miley on her Queen radio show. And now we know the reason why she went so hard at her. Mm. Because they have a history. And Miley was probably the reason why Nikki got blackballed. And her father was allegedly spewing out racist insults and trying to get her blackballed behind the scenes, allegedly. Now, does this mean that Nikki's career is over? No, of course not. But Nikki is not where she used to be in her career. Yeah, and that whole Miley Cyrus situation is allegedly the reason why. I'm still saying allegedly because I don't know for sure, but I still think it's an interesting story. Anyway, tell me what y'all interesting yeah obviously none of us know you know not even her barbs who think they know every fucking detail what's going on in her life and i know because i was there which <laughs> they don't be doing shit uh some of her fans are annoying obviously not every last one of them but some of them are very very annoying but um yeah this is an interesting um theory you know don't know the truth in it but this is interesting because she has been kind of quiet lately and yes she was on doja cat song but that's doja cat song and she had yikes was the last i heard from her and that seemed to come and go really quickly like i don't feel like there was that much buzz surrounding it um regardless of where it charted or whatever because you know they love throwing up these fucking charts and i did this this and that but as far as how receptive the public was to it it just didn't seem like you know people grasp onto that song that much and it was a really good song so it is kind of concerning like you know what's going on and where's her album there's no talk of you know when her album is going to come out again it's just you know it's been a little quiet so i wonder if this has any you know validity to it i'm not sure but yeah i didn't know her daddy was that powerful i didn't know that she had all this pull so uh yeah if what they're saying is true about her daddy then i could see this taking place i could see him being salty and trying to blackball her crazy if this happened though y'all let me know what y'all think let me know what other videos i'm gonna react to and i'll see you on the next one bye